Rooney, Martin. Vindication, I think. You must be over the moon, mate. Take me through the race and what it means to you to, to land that gold and retain your title. It's the first time I've got to defend the title. It's the first time I uh, come to European Championships. I wasn't in great shape. I wasn't feeling great, but I knew I was running well. In training and stuff was going all right. Rainer was very confident. I just had to let go of some demons. And um, yeah, it's paid off. Like I came here and put some nice races together. I got to run three rounds and yeah, I'm very happy. I got to race some fantastic athletes, Mazlag, Borle. They're great athletes and great ambassadors to the sport, so to come out on top of that was, I'm very proud of myself. Did you, did it help having Borley just outside you like that? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Like in, when I came to Zurich, I had a lane three to myself, like outside of me, so this time to have Kevin there, I know like in a couple of weeks he'll pull that off, he'll be able to back that up and he'll come home in 44 seconds, so I need to race my game come Olympics, and, uh, but no, it was, like he, we've raced together for years, and uh, I knew if I come off the bend ahead of him, I had a good shot of winning, so, um, I was just delighted I hung on, uh, and now I've just seen Annika come third, I'm, I'm ecstatic for her. Yeah, it's great for Annika. Um, talking about yourself, there was a chance that you might not have got to compete here. At that point, you know, what was you feeling like, and, you know, mentally, was it difficult to kind of deal with that whole situation, bearing in mind you wasn't doing what you wanted to do on the track? It was happening in training, but it wasn't happening in competition. Yeah, like we spoke in... In Birmingham, like I put a horrible race together in Birmingham. I was beaten by two better athletes in the day, uh, Matt Hudson-Smith and Rabba. Yusuf ran fantastically well. Um, and I knew I had to come here and prove a point. It was up to them if they wanted to come here first. And then if they didn't want to come, I, I got selection. So thankfully, they gave me the opportunity. And uh, yeah, I've come here and done the job. But uh, no, it, it's just nice to come out and actually just, my coach, Rainer Ryder, it's his birthday today. He said, do this, do this and this, and you'll be all right. And that's it, I did, I did pretty much hit it. Nail on the head. You ran a, a great semi-final. Did you know at that point that it, you know, it was there? Yeah, I got rid of some demons in that race. Like I, I've been struggling with my head. I was looking at my feet. Don't why, know what. Why, yeah, I saw that you say that. Why are you doing I did that? It at European. I uh, didn't at first. I don't, I'm annoying myself. So, in the final, I was like, one thing. I was like, just don't look at your feet. <laughs> just watch the back of Kevin. And uh, yeah, it's just the semi-final, 45-0. I felt quite good. Like. Um, at 50 meters ago, I had to look around and did a stupid thing and looking across and I saw three guys still there and I had to kind of pick it up again. But I know that there's a 44 in there, come Olympics, if I can go around 44 mid to low, close to my PB, got an opportunity to make the final. So stay healthy, uh, go to London and try and do a job there.